Get ready for some ninja guiding. I'm the Flannel Fox Tim Swernick, and I reviewed Shadow Bug on the Nintendo Switch. Shadow Bug is a 2D puzzle platformer without the ability to jump. Instead, as you play through levels, you dash attack your enemies, which allows you to move throughout the world. In some instances, you can dash attack through walls, use enemies to gain vertical height, or volley dash enemies to continuously keep your character up in the air. Like most good platformers, in each chapter the dash mechanic is utilized in a different way. Fish hopping over toxic lakes, bouncing between wall climbing spider likes, or activating slow moving deadly ghoul arms make all the journey a satisfying learning experience that keeps you on your toes throughout the campaign. As you begin the first few worlds are really just focused on the platforming, but the further you get along the puzzles really become apparent. Looking off screen to find that certain enemy to dash to, unlocking a whole new world of challenge that you then have to solve the puzzle and platform your way to victory is what Shadow Bug is all about. You will certainly play the more difficult levels multiple times, learning attack patterns, mapping puzzle results, and timing your dashes just right. At the end of each world, like most platformers, you'll encounter a boss. The bosses in Shadow Bug are the highlight of each of them, trying over and over again and again until landing that perfect move, hit, or jump that gets you to the next attack pattern that you then have to figure out. At first, giving you that oh no feeling becomes a task of memorization and skill that feels fantastic. The biggest and absolute worst part of this what would be overall fun experience are the controls. When playing docked, you can play with the Joy-Cons detached or with the Pro Controller. You use the left joystick to control left and right walking and point with the right Joy-Con utilizing the motion controls to control the little on-screen fly. That fly is your pointer to select enemies that you want to dash attack, the most important mechanic of the game, which does not work very well. You do get much better with time, but tight and precise, absolutely not. You can recalibrate your movement by pressing the Y button if it gets wonky, but they rarely feel spot on. It's incredibly frustrating dying on a difficult level because of shoddy controls, not because of lack of skill or practice. When playing handheld, the attached Joy-Cons will not work and you're forced to play touchscreen, and I would recommend with the Joy-Cons detached. Just as you play the iOS version of Shadowbug, you touch and hold the left or right side of the screen to walk left or right. You then just press the enemy that you would like to dash attack. The reason that you have to detach the Joy-Cons is that even for a guy with rather large hands like me, reaching my thumb over the Joy-Cons to press the left or right sides of the screen is just too far. You absolutely cannot get all the enemies with your thumbs. Removing the Joy-Cons makes it a much more enjoyable experience, but at that point, you should just buy it on your iPhone. Playing through Shadow Bug was a back and forth experience of satisfying victories and mechanical frustrations. Underneath the foggy input devices lies a pretty solid platforming experience with fun and innovative puzzle design. The game also has a very good challenge balance with enough difficulty to increase your skill but keep it feeling light and digestible. While I can recommend this game on other platforms, the Nintendo Switch input controls are just not up to par. That's why I'm giving Shadow Bug on the Nintendo Switch a 5 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video game review, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, follow me on Metacritic and Twitter at TheFlannelFox. See you next time, Switchers.